In this video, I'm going to give an overview of the different animation techniques found within Quill. Many of these techniques will get their own in-depth videos soon. The first technique is hand-drawn animation. This technique is similar to 2D animation because you draw every frame by hand. You can create new animation frames by pressing up on the left analog stick, and then use the onion skin as your guide. Think of it like drawing in Flash, but in three dimensions. The second technique involves creating a mesh and duplicating it each frame. You can always go back and tweak the positions or warp the shape by using the grab tool. The third technique is similar to stop motion animation. It involves duplicating your strokes and posing them for each pose. Then, by holding frames, you can block out your timing and place keys in the middle to act as breakdowns or in-betweens. The onion skin becomes extremely important with this technique. Next is the grab tool technique. By cloning a layer many times and setting it to loop, you can use the grab tool while playback is running to fill the empty frames with animation and puppet the scene. This is great for more organic animations like grass blowing in the wind. You can also adjust the tool's focus to puppet strokes like this ball without distortion. The next technique is the Anim Brush. This functions similarly to the previous trick by creating a series of empty keyframes. If you play your animation and draw with the brush tool in these empty frames, it will record your brush strokes as animation. You can adjust the duration of these strokes in the tools window. Lastly, you can use the transform keys to move layers around by placing keyframes. This functions a lot like keys in After Effects. You can choose whether you want the animation to be stepped, linear, ease in, ease out, or both. You can use groups to layer your keyed movement. You can also use opacity keys to animate the fade in and fade out of layers.